A uh, small thing about black body irradiation. Um, I learn as I go, and uh, I've learned there's a layer. We have a layer of atoms. This is matter. There's a atmosphere above it, and this atmosphere, uh, photons come in, rake photons. They're all around, but very little uh, amount. Not very much of them. They are all around, and they get in this layer. With, another with other photons and get uh, destroyed. Uh, they get uh, separated, but their uh, energy goes down uh, via the two separate gravitons down to the atoms where they interact. And the moment they have interacted, those gravitons become quantized. Same counts for uh, photons, but same counts for normal uh, gravitons. They come in, get quantized, and then uh, shoot out again. So this, in this layer, uh, photons are very rare. They more normally get destroyed within this layer and get created as well within this layer because if you get, have those quantized gravitons, they team up and get entangled and create photons. Those photons have energy, this, the more entangled ones like this UV um, are more energetic and they get propelled by the ether. So that's uh, pretty amazing actually that the same energy uh, these photons are made of gets uh, maintained during, during their travel. Um, and here there is this uh, a picture of human eye. Um, Earlier on, I thought, well, we have those cones and we have photons in different sizes and they all may come to chess or no, but that would mean a photon would be about a thousand times bigger than it actually is. So that was a wrong uh, idea of mine. Um, what now? What's the new idea? Um, we have these cones and all, also those cones have that atmosphere, those layers and um, this one is a red photon, it's not very much entangled and gets easily dissected. And the infrared ones or blue ones uh, have more trouble getting dissected. But since they are cones, um, they get uh, hit more often, more often on the way down. So um, those blue, those violet photons remain intact within this zone, but uh, get dis dismembered in this zone. And the red ones are very flimsy, they get dismembered on the top side of those cones. So that's why uh, this creates an electric signal over here and that photon creates an electric signal over there. Signal over there. Um, but again, most important thing is to, to realize that um, on the surface of every atom there's a layer on the surface of metal, there's a layer of photons. Photons get destroyed and created within this layer. Um, the gravitons get, get quantized over here and creating uh, the spectral lines. This is also uh, a factor in the Casimir um, effect and it keeps stuff from uh, joining from, from gluing together from, from becoming one. It's, there's this layer of photons which does that. Um, then we have temperature. Um, these uh, photons, these electrons, uh, again, these gravitons are quantized, so they give a certain amount of spectral photons. Quantized means we got this little atom here and those quarks are spinning around it and some are stretched out like this, some, this, some, this, and that means turning at a similar speed, it means differences in speed, and that's the quantization. There's quantization hitting it, and there's quantization hitting it sideways, so this, and those quantizations create uh, a more or less entanglement. So they go fast, or they rotate fast, and that creates the entanglement, so you get different entanglements different colors, different spectral lines. Whenever an uh, object is heated, 
it starts shaking and when it's uh, heated more it shakes more violently pushing those photons out of this layer within this layer those photons and also the quantized photons the, the spectral lines get destroyed again you won't see any light radiating because it's they are within this layer but uh, the tranquility of this band gets disturbed by violent shaking of matter so that's what he does you you, you turn up the heat it gets it shakes more violently it will destroy uh, the red atoms it will push out the violet ones the more it gets shaking and that's uh, the, the, what you get with um, black body radiation black body radiation is no more than, than the, 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 the vibration of matter pushing out photons and the warmer it gets the higher the vibration or the more powerful the vibration it doesn't need to be another frequency it can be more powerful um, the red ones will not be pushed out but will be destroyed instead and those more energetic ones they need more energy they get pushed out which makes um, up for the shift from red to violet when turning up the heat that's it thanks and uh, I hope it uh, you can understand what I mean <laughs> I hope so thanks bye